Hey guys, so um, we're back with the short hair again. I swear I own some wigs. I've just really been loving the short hair. It makes me feel kind of cute, which I wasn't expecting because like I said in the last video, I don't really like short hair. Especially, um, I tend to not like it on girls who are more my size. Um, I like longer hair, I, but for some reason I'm really digging the um, like really short hair. I don't know. So we're just going to go with it. Um, one day you may see me in a wig, maybe not. Who knows? I'm liking the haircut though. Um, so today we're going to do a huge boohoo haul. And by huge I mean it came in a huge bag. I don't really think I got that many things, so it shouldn't really be that huge item wise, I think. Anyways, this is the bag. It's huge. I can't even fit it all in in frame. Yep. So, um, let's get into it, shall we? Now, I know one of the reasons why it's so big is because I ordered a pair of shoes, of course. Um, so that's gonna be the first thing I take out. These are the shoes. This is the box. I got these in a size 9. They're just some white like pleather um, platform shoes. Not too high of a platform, but just nice to wear like in the summer. I really like this kind of look. And of course, as I talked about in my last video with my aesthetic or dream aesthetic that one day my wardrobe will be, these are uh, really good shoes to have. I've actually had a pair of Boohoo shoes before in black. Um, and I still wear them to this day. I've had them since my like quote unquote goth phase, so for quite a few years now. Um, they do already have a scuff on them. I can't, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you know what? I'm not that upset about it because they're going to get scuffed up the first time I wear them. So, you know, there's that. Here's the thing about Boohoo. I used to order from them a lot when I was going through that really dark goth phase where well, goth. It wasn't really goth. I wasn't trying to be goth. I just only wore black. That's all I would wear because that's all I thought I looked good in and so that's all I thought I could wear. Um, I thought that since I am more of a plus size person that I should only wear black because at least it makes you look smaller and then I would look smaller and that's just really sad. Like I wouldn't buy color even though I liked color. If an item came in a color that wasn't black, even if I loved the item, even if I loved the color it came in, I wouldn't get it because it wasn't black and I didn't feel like I could wear it because I sh was only supposed to be wearing black apparently. Um, so I haven't ordered from them since then, since that phase of my life because I used to order a lot from them because they had cheaper clothing and I wanted this huge wardrobe of, at the time, all black things, but I wanted still wanted to be stylish even though I was only wearing black so I would order a lot from them and at the time this was a couple years ago it was one of those things like when you stock your wardrobe with forever 21 stuff like yes there's a lot of it but it's not good quality like each piece might only last you a little bit but I'm trying to give them another try see if the quality is a little better see if it lasts me a little more like a little longer like I said at least the shoes I used to buy from them did last a long time so at least I know those shoes should last me, hopefully. Um, but I am gonna, you know, like, I'm revisiting this. I'm gonna try and revisit some of the old shops I used to shop at when I was in college. Um, see if, A, I can find anything that I like in the style that I like. Anything that'll fit me, if it fits well, and how long it'll last. So, we'll see. It's all about building the dream closet. One day I will be a colorful pastel princess, and that's all that I want. Um, so the next thing this this t-shirt I wanted some cute casual pastel aesthetic shirts that I could just wear on every day like it didn't have to be a huge you know outfit kind of thing so I got this in a size 16 US and it's just a white t-shirt and it says preach on it in um, on camera they're coming off a little bit darker but they are more of like a pastel purple not too pastel but um they're definitely a lighter purple than they look on camera but yeah I just thought this was really cute it says preach on it I thought it'd be really cute tucked into like a lavender skirt or something just something really casual that I can throw on if I don't feel like being a person that day so I got that 
so I'm saving that for last. The next thing I got is another one of those just like casual t-shirts like that that I can wear but it's still cute and still fits in my style. Um, this one is a baby blue one. I also got this one in a size US 16, which is a UK 20. And this is baby blue and it just says doll on it in white. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. It just... Okay. It says doll on it in white letters, as you can see right across the chest and I thought this would also be cute like with that one tucked into maybe like a white skirt or a white pair of jeans or just with a white pair of jeans or jean shorts once again something really casual but would still look kind of cute and a little bit aesthetic um when I really didn't feel like getting up early and being a person and trying to look like I put any effort into my life ever so the next thing is that it that's all I got I thought there was gonna be way more than that okay this might be a little shorter than I planned, I'm sorry. Um, the next thing is a two-piece. Now, it's not sold as a two-piece, you have to buy them separately, but they go together. I mean, they don't have to, but I'm gonna wear them together. Um, we'll start with the pants. So they're these pants in this baby blue with like white money signs, but from a distance, it kind of just looks like a lattice pattern. And it also kind of looks like hearts, which I like. Um, and then it does have like some white paneling through it. So I'm going to take that out and show you. Like I said, these are pants. These are from some kind of collaboration that they did, I think, with somebody. I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, but I thought that they were really cute. Maybe the tag will say. Does the tag say? All the tag says is Steflon Don Dollar Print Slim Leg Jogger. So, um, I don't know, I'm sorry, don't be mad at me. Um, so I got these in a US size 18 because they are joggers and I wanted them to fit a little looser. Um, so they look, let me turn those around. So they look like this. And then this is the leg, I'm just gonna. So it does have like that white paneling along the side and then it has one paneling of white along the thigh to kind of break up the pattern. Um, I will say this, the two shirts, the preach and then the doll one, you know, they're just made out of like your typical cotton. They feel like any normal t-shirt. This feels odd. I don't know what fabric this, let me see if I can figure out what fabric this is. What, what are you, what are you made out of? Keep away from fire. Good to know. So it's 100% polyester. So it's it's that. It's that feeling. Um, hopefully that means it'll be breathable and cooler to wear outside where I live in the hot hot. Um, but this is just what they look like. So I'll try those on. I'm not a big fan of the feel of this fabric. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I always hate polyester. I kind of just wish that they were like some form of cotton or something like soft and thin and breeze breezy. Beautiful cover girl, you know, that. Um, so the same thing with, I got this. This is a zip up cropped hoodie, super cropped as you can see. It does have a hood, I swear. Hood, okay. Um, I got this to wear with those. I thought it would be really cute, once again, something really casual but still fits the color palette that I like. Um, if I'm off and running errands, I obviously wouldn't wear this to work, um, but I thought it'd be really cute. It might also, though, make me look like some, oh, it's got some kind of dust on it. Okay, that came off. It also might end up making me look like some um, like 80s rapper. Possibly, maybe, whatever. Um, so it does zip up in the front like that. I just unzipped it. And then it has the pull strings by the hood. It does have an elasticated waist around what will essentially be my under boob area. But on normal people might possibly, normal, I need to stop saying that. But on other people might possibly be like their waist. You never know. And then it does have these around the um, wrist as well, the elasticated 
cuffs. Um, this one I think I did also get in a size 18. I did. So I got the pants in a size 18 just in case I didn't want them to be really tight, especially now I'm glad I did that with that fabric. If they were really tight like leggings, they'd probably be see-through. And then I got this because I knew it was going to be extremely short cropped and um, I wanted to be able to wear it without a tank top underneath. So I needed something that would be long enough with my breast size to not then show the underside of my breast. Yeah. So the last thing is like the second thing I pulled out, but I wanted to save it for last, thinking that there was going to be way more things than there actually were. Um, it's a skirt. And it's great. I hope. Okay. Oh, it's inside out. Oh. Um, oh, no, it's not. That was the back. Okay. I have a lot to say about this, some of which I, I well... For now, what I have to say about it, I knew before I ordered it. Um, but just as a heads up, I did order this in a US size 16. So I don't forget to tell you that later. And I'm sure you can already hear it. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. Oh, this is going to be like that dress. I'm telling you, I call it already. Um, the thing that I was going to say that I already knew I was going to say the back is just plain white, also very see-through, um, and then the front has all the fun things. I feel like it's okay with this piece, hopefully I won't hate it, but I tend to not like that, especially like they'll do it with tops, they'll do it with like kimonos, they'll do it with dresses, they'll do it with skirts, they'll make the front all sequiny and whatever, and then the back they'll just have a plain fabric. Why do you do that? Why? It does not look the best. It does not look as good as a piece that has this on both sides. Like that dress that I got from ASOS in the last haul. This piece is not going to look as good as that piece. That piece had them on both sides. This one only has them on the front. And like, it's fine because I do plan on wearing this to work. And it'd be nice to be able to sit down and not really worry about losing these. Like, I'm not 100% complaining. I'm just kind of complaining because why? Like, it's one thing, I know, you're probably, like, trying to save on the price. It could be a little more expensive, but this was already really expensive. This was, like, $40-something, I think? Maybe 50 maybe 60 I don't know. It was a lot. I got it when they were having a 50% off sale on their website, like they pretty much always are. They are always, just a heads up, if you've never ordered from Boohoo before, they are always having 40% off your entire purchase, 50% off your entire purchase, or 60% off your entire purchase. Always. I'm pretty sure I ordered this when they were having 50% off. Wait a couple days if they're not, and they will be again, I promise. Um, which is why I was like, okay, I'll get this and just see. Because I thought it'd be really cute to wear with like a plain top and just throw this on and not really have to worry about it because it wasn't too expensive because I did get it half off. Um, but like I said, I'm just not a fan of when they don't do the back. They only do the front. And um, this is very thin. This is the back part. If you guys see my underwear later, I apologize. Um... So that's it. That's all that I got. I got the pair of shoes, the two casual cute tops, this skirt, and then the two-piece set. So um, I'm going to switch around, try some things on for you guys, and then we'll come back for like a final thoughts. I'm not going to try their shoes on for you. I'll try them on when I try everything else on, and I'll tell you if they fit or not, but they're normal white platform sandal shoes. You guys have seen that a million times before, I'm sure. Um, so. Let's switch around. Okay, so this is the two piece. I figured it'd be easiest to put this on. That's the hood. Um. Okay, so obviously you can tell I don't love it. The top, I'm not mad at. So the top I would totally wear on like a casual day. Just, you know, it, it does hit. I'm glad I got a. I'm glad I got a size large. It does hit literally like right, right there. Um, but I think it's cute, and then, you know, the little hood. If it's raining, I would totally wear this. 
Totally. Uh, the pants, not so much. The pants I'm not a fan of. So I did get a size 18. I'm glad I did. They are weirdly, I don't know. They're just weird. They're not comfortable. They don't stretch really. So when you move your legs, like it's pretty much you got what you got. So keep that in mind. Probably you should also get a size larger. Um, the fabric, can you hear that? There we go. Fabric is weird, that 100% polyester, I don't like it. And then when I wear them together, I just, I feel odd. Like, I, this is not, no. But this, I'll wear this, I'll wear the top. I'm not gonna wear the pants. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna bother returning it because it's boohoo and after the thing, I probably ended up spending like, I'll probably just donate them, but um, I'll keep this. I think this is cute. I'll wear this, but I don't think I'll wear the pants. And I totally called it. I do feel like um, like some kind of 80s rapper wannabe thing. Let's do the next one. Okay, so this is that Preach um, t-shirt. It's nice. It's cozy. There's not really much I can say. Obviously, it's just... A regular old t-shirt I got it in a size 16 which I imagine is the equivalent to like a size extra large possibly extra extra large depending on the place or the brand um, that's pretty much how it fits it you know snug here yeah I'm still wearing the pants <laughs> um, you know snug around the chest loose 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 maybe a little tighter on like the tummy area but it's cute like I said I'm probably just gonna end up Tucking it into a skirt, possibly this skirt. This is this is for an upcoming haul. Just don't look at that. Um, but yeah, cute, casual, totally what I was trying to go for. So I like it. Let's do the next one. Okay, I put these two on together. No, this is not how I would wear them, but I'm showing you them both anyway. So we'll just do it together. Um, same thing with the pre sh 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 words. Same thing with the Preach shirt, um, just a typical t-shirt, says doll on it, is really cute, same kind of fit, no complaints there. How <laughs> can you really mess up a t-shirt? I don't know, I'm sure someone has figured out a way. Um, skirt. It's cute. It is cute. Two things, can't zip it by myself. It's one of those things where like... Someone needs to hold it while someone zips it, because obviously the zipper isn't the best quality. Um, and as you can see, without me even having to go too low, a hundred percent sheer. A hundred percent. So I'm going to have to wear some kind of like white slip, which would work, because I was going to wear it with a white tank top anyway. So I'll just wear a white slip and then just have this over it. And it'll just be like a cute little fun, little fun thing. Still not a fan of the no sequins on the back thing. I wish that they would have just done it all the way around and then we wouldn't even have a problem with how sheer the fabric is. Um, I will say one thing though. Give me a second. I'm sure you heard me struggle. It's already shedding. I've got these literally littered across my floor. And when you bend over in it, you become spiky. But they go right back down. It's no big deal. Um, yeah, that'd be my two complaints. It's too sheer. So I wish they would have done the sequins all the way around. And they shed. But I mean, what can you expect when it's from Boohoo, I guess. Their quality hasn't changed that much. You know, for simple, cheaper pieces, okay, I'm going to change and then sit down and uh, do final thoughts. We'll talk about it then. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I just, I didn't change into my other clothes. It's whatever. Um, so pretty much what I was saying towards the end of that clip was, like, as I was thinking about it, I would order from them again, but... I wouldn't order staple pieces, essentially. Um, like that skirt, you know, in my wardrobe especially, would be like 
a staple piece. It'd be something fabulous and fantastic that I would wear probably more than occasionally, but would want to last because I would wear it often or want to wear it often enough that I would want it to last more than a couple times, which I imagine that one, that's all that's going to last is a couple times before a bunch of the things have fallen off. It's been stained on the back, something. It's, something is going to go wrong. Um, but for stuff like this, like this t-shirt, I do really like, and I think it'd look really cute. Tucked into a skirt, maybe with a cardigan thrown over it. I do really like it. The Preach t-shirt, I like that as well. The shoes I did try on, they fit. They're comfortable. Those are really good white, smaller platform shoes or platform shoes. It's kind of weird. They're not 100% flat. Hold on. They're not like 100%. Well, I guess they are, but they've got like a heel. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. Okay. They're not flat. Like, a flat form typically is just 100% flat, like the ones that I tried on the ASOS haul, but they're not the super high platform that most people think of when you say platform shoes. Um, but for something like these, I think it's great. You know, these were $10 on sale. I think they were originally, like, $20. Um, I would have paid original. I would have paid $20 for these. These are great, you know. I'll wear them possibly for through the summer, through the fall. I might get a solid year out of these and then I'll have to buy another pair. I can go back and buy another pair for $10, $20. Not a big deal. They lasted. They looked cute. They fit. That's all I can ask for. These t-shirts, really cute. Something really casual. I can wear it a lot before it dies. It should last me a couple of years at least. Um, but the statement pieces, that skirt isn't going to last. It's already falling apart. Like, there are things scattered all over. So a couple times wearing it, and there will probably be large chunks where all the sequins are gone. There will probably be a big stain on the back from sitting in something since the back is doesn't have the sequins on it. It's just sheer, essentially lining. It's that sheer. Um, that's going to get dirty real quick, and washing it is going to be extremely difficult. And then, like, the two-piece... The top, yes, I do like the top. I'll probably wear the top casually around. Um, the pants, not so much. I don't think I'll wear them at all. I, they're not comfortable. They don't stretch. Um, they're kind of like that fabric that like wicks away moisture and everyone's like, oh, it's so great, except it's probably really uncomfortable and hot. Um, so hit or miss. I got some really good things. I do love these t-shirts. I like those shoes a lot. I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. I do like the skirt. I just know it's not going to last. And the jumpsuit. Eh, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, look, we have a new friend. I should have mentioned that earlier. His name is Joel. He's a giant penguin. Um, so yeah, I would order from Boohoo again. I'm not swearing off Boohoo like I did before when I switched to stop wearing all black and I was like I need more adult things I need to spend a hundred dollars on each item of my clothing I'm not swearing off of them I'll probably occasionally go back probably order a couple more things you'll probably see more of these videos from them eventually but it's not a staple shopping place ASOS I keep just promoting this old video I'm sorry I shop at there, there a lot. I mentioned in the video I've shopped there before. I frequently check their just in, their new stuff, looking to see if they have anything that I like, anything that I want to order. I order from them, aside from ordering large amounts of things just to do hauls. I'll order one thing, I'll order two things and not mention it because it's not big enough to do a haul and I don't want to save it forever to try and wait to do a haul. Um, so I shop there frequently. Boohoo isn't going to be one of those websites for me. I'll check back occasionally, maybe watch a video where someone had something that they really loved and I think it's really cute, so I'll go order it if they have it in a size that would fit me, but I, it's not, this is pretty much what I expected it to be, but I'm glad that some of it did work out. It wasn't a total loss, so that's that. Boohoo first impression review after a long time haul thing. I don't know. This video was all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs>
I was so excited in the last video because I was like, oh, I'm finally getting into things and I'm finally comfortable and it's all good. And then this video, I was kind of just like, uh, yeah, yeah, like a, just a little deer trying to get its legs and figure out what's going on. That's me. That's probably going to be me forever. Um, just stumbling around thinking I know what's going on and not really knowing what's going on at all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video I can go ahead and tell you is going to be a dolls kill slash hot topic kind of haul review. Yeah, I've never ordered clothes from Hot Topics plus size section. Well, any, really. I think I've, I have some t-shirts from them, or I used to. Um, so we're gonna try some of that, and some Dolls Kill stuff, which I've ordered a lot of, and nothing has ever fit me ever. So, uh, that's coming up. That's gonna be a fun time. Um, but I'm gonna leave this here. I've been rambling for like six and a half minutes now, and it's just getting excessive. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.